Hello and welcome to Upside Down. In today's episode, I want to show you a very quick and easy way that you can bake some details into a model. If you're new to this channel, I'm making tutorials for 3D artists. So subscribe and hit the notification bell if you don't want to miss the latest tutorials. Now let's start. So you already created a model that you want to add some details. In my case, this is this column. What I want to show you today, I already have a 2D drawing that I want to apply as a detail on my column. Let's open Photoshop and see what I have. This is the ornament that I want to put in the middle of my column. So what I'm going to do is hold Ctrl and click on the layer just to make a selection. If you have a background on your image and you cannot do the selection as I did it with Ctrl and clicking on the layer, you can just select the layer, come to select, then color range and then pick the color that you want to select, click OK and you will have the same type of selection. When we have our selection done, we can come to paths and after that click over here. It will create a path from the selection that we already made. You can see that it added these blue lines around our drawing. Now we can come here and export it. We export path to Illustrator, export it as a work path and now we are ready to go back inside 3ds Max. I come to file, import, and we import the file that we just exported. It will ask us if we want to merge it, we just merge the object into the current scene. And as well, we want everything to be into a single object, we don't want it to be in multiple objects. But if you want to do this into a multiple object, you have the option to do it. Click OK. So what we can do from here is we can just apply an extrude. So this way we can give it a little bit of a thickness, like this. I'll move it and rotate it in front of my column and as well I'm going to make it bigger like this. The last part that I want to do, I want to add a bend. So we added a bend, we make it on X axis and here I'm going to start increasing the value so that it wraps around the column. And I will export two versions uh, of my column. One is going to be just the model that we have. So I'll just export it as an FBX. And the second version is going to be of both models. Now that we exported them, we are ready to go in Painter. We make a new file, I'll make it on 2K, import our low poly. After that, we come and bake it. We will remove ID and thickness as we don't need those. And I'm going to add the high poly into the high definition meshes. Click bake. And after the bake, you can see that we already have uh, everything done. Uh, now. Now we are ready to export it and I want to show you one more cool trick because at the moment you can see that our ornament looks like it's being extruded from the column but we can easily flip this and make it so that it looks like that it's being carved inside of it. So I'll just open the normal map that we just exported. I'll just convert this background layer to a normal layer and if we go to the green channel and I invert just the green channel you can see that we can change the direction that our ornament is going. Now we can just come inside 3ds Max, import our textures and you can see that we already have everything baked on the model. Thank you for joining me in today's quick tutorial. I hope that the technique that I showed you is going to be useful and is going to speed up some of your processes. See you next time.